Sidney Naya, Hata, 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 Hata. I want him to be a new. I don't see the one you're trying to hear me out of us all. What was it I was said to me? Because he can yeah, man, for gonna for be a boy the right trust messenger. Now, man, for it is if it is here. This picture here, the talk say, while fuel prices have gone up, government has given you free SHS, water and electricity. So stop complaining. Okriku Mante tells Ghanaians, stop complaining about the hardship in Ghana. A man, for look at this fool. Hmm? Mark Okroko Mante, Charlie, in belly full. He get position for government now. So Charlie, into go fi come out, come spew rubbish or garbage. Look at the nonsense this man is saying. Government has given us free SHS, free electricity, and free water. The free electricity and the free water where he day, ah. Huh? How many people have free electricity and water for Ghana, Marco Kukumante? Free SHS. Come destroy the educational system for the country. When he talks about need like free SHS, but where is the infrastructure to support free SHS? I'm on for. Huh? The prices of petrol have gone up once again in Ghana. I'm on for. And this is going to affect the day-to-day -day life of the ordinary man on the streets in Ghana. And for people are already working hard to earn a square meal a day in Ghana. And the prices of petrol have gone up again. This hike in the price of petrol is definitely going to paralyze the livelihood of some Ghanaians. Of some poor people in Ghana, the rise in the price of petrol affects transportation of essential goods or essential commodities. As such, the hike in the price of fuel or petrol amount for is going to affect the livelihood of the Ghanaian. This minister, Nanado, does he pay for petrol? I hear say the ministers not to pay pay for petrol. They just turn up and their tanks get filled and they roll off. I'm on for. The hike in price will affect the livelihood of the ordinary Ghanaian on the streets. I'm on for. The banks will suffer as well due to the high inflation caused by the increase in fuel price. I'm on for. Think about it. Increase in fuel prices lead to increase in food prices. Am I lying? And the increase in fuel prices causes a chain reaction in the day to day living. Of people in a country increase in the price of petroleum or fuel will lead to an increase in transportation prices this will lead to an increase in the price of commodities in the country and these are the things we are talking about because this will go and affect the poor people living in the country, the ordinary man, this will affect him. Government officials, parliamentarians have heard do not pay for petrol. All they have to do is turn up and their tanks are filled. I'm saying it again. Even senior police officers in our country, Ghana, do they pay for petrol? I'm on for. Leave comments. Nanado promised that 
there'll be full reduction there'll be reduction in the prices of food that was one of his campaign messages but right now with this he said all these things are lies Nanado has lied to Ghanaians just to become a president uh, most politicians african politicians are liars they will lie and say anything just to come into power after they come into power they forget about the people even, even their campaign messages, they forget about it. Look at Nanado. Now look, Nanado is here. But we are still suffering in this country called Ghana. It's even worse now than it was when he came into power. I'm unful. So as ordinary citizens, as people, of the land what can we do to what can we do to alleviate the hike in the prices of petrol among for the people have to use more public transport in Ghana self how many people have private transport huh? and they talk say people have to use more public transport by looking at Ghana how many people what percentage of the people are using a, 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 a public or pri private transport? But they, they say to the toxic, what we can do to help in case there's a price, there's a hike or increase the price of petrol is to use more public transport. More bicycles, ride more bicycles to go to work, to move about. Man, for the country's poor, and these politicians are not helping, they just lie and lie and lie just to come into power, like Nanado. Nanado is a liar, and you come and say, Oh, make Ghanaians no think, say, eh, eh, lie just to come in power. Nanado, you lie to Ghanaians to come into power. Ghanaians believed in you. They trusted you because they think, oh, this one was raised or brought up in Europe, as you guys are claiming. Or oh, as you are claiming, Anando. You claim a reduction in, the, in, in, in four prices. Four prices have gone up. Some are saying the prices are, have even been almost doubled we're not saying doubled almost doubled what have you done for the people nanado you guys who go about saying free shs free SHS, free shs free shs of look astonishing the life of young people in the country because of the backlog because of how long students have to come and stay at home because before they go back to school Young girls are getting pregnant. By the time is by the time they have to go back to school. Because they are sitting at home doing nothing. What do you want them to do? They are human beings, they got feelings as well. Hmm. Chale, if it is since we talk, say face the country, face the country, face the country. Before, even if four prices do go up, we didn't understand because Charlie, we didn't import petrol. But now look, Ghana have petrol, Ghana has found petrol, and still the price of fuel is going up. Why? Thank you for being the video. All we are saying is fix the country, create jobs for the youths. Give us better roads or tramodin hospital facilities. Build infrastructure to support free SHS. And the youths who want to learn and progress their life. Peace. <laughs> All of our ancestors would arise. Africa, oh Africa. What about Africa with the Monday?